this is the place I will always love to spend my money because it belongs to my own brother and it feels like I'm back again in the East African community. Hi, Nyamachoma. Hi. What are you Nakula. Nakula. East African, real authentic food. Oh, Nakula. Um, no, this is not Kuku. Ah, so this much. is Kuku. Nakula Kuku. Oh, no. But if I'm here, I just have to let you know who is the one behind it. I mean, who is behind the Kwetu? I mean, if you say Kwetu in East Africa, which means home. My oh, brother, come on, you're trying to hide away from me. I'm come not on. hiding here, man. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, bro. Oh. Very, very good. This is very... Ah, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I can even use my hand. Here, you know? No, it's yeah. okay. Put it there. You're right. Definitely. Yeah. Brother, what is your name and where are you from? So, my name is Kambari Sadi and I'm from Rwanda. Rwanda. Exactly, if you got it to be specific. <laughs> <laughs> From Rwanda, what brought you to Mozambique? Um, I think that life brought me to Mozambique. I can't specifically say what brought me to Mozambique, but I find myself here visiting my brother and I fell in love with this country. And uh, here I am four years after. Four years after. Exactly. So, like, you've got this beautiful um, East African restaurant in yeah. here. You actually came to eat, and yeah. then we found out the owner is from Rwanda. I was like, exactly. what? Yeah, Murahoneza. Ah, Murakoze. Murakoze, <laughs> Rwanda. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been operating this restaurant? So, this restaurant is uh, three years old now. Three years old, yeah. yeah. And it started from? And it started from home to a little kiosk in a just around here in the mm. neighborhood and then um, we came here looking for bigger space and um, trying to give a more comfortable but to people. as a young guy like you should have been in the bank mm. or you should have been in your office let's take it that way yeah. why a restaurant a restaurant came out of a necessity of job because I couldn't find a job here as an IT engineer it was very difficult for me, language barrier and uh, stuff like that. But then I figured out that I could cook and people liked the food that I made. So it all started from the chapata that I used to make from home and um, distributed them to shops, like Rwanda's owner shops, because I couldn't, I didn't know any other person who could uh, take my food. And then uh, from that, people started asking me for food, if I could make food. and I, from YouTube and my mom's on the telephone, <laughs> I learned to cook East African food. Wow. And um, with the love and passion, it became all of this that we have here. And um, Because yeah. when I came here, I realized that more experts mm. come in here yeah. to eat. Mm. Like how many people often come in here? I mean, like uh, which people normally come in here? Majority of the people that come here are travelers okay. or other experts who live in Mozambique. And um, that is because we happen to be a reference of an African restaurant in Maputo. And it has been a very, very good journey through this and an experience. Yeah. And today is um, Saturday. It's a Saturday. It's a, like a Saturday special over here. Exactly. Where we. Um, we serve like people get to try all the food that we make here. Wow! The East African food that we make. Here. So, I don't know if you can go through the yeah. foods. We have pilau here for anybody who knows East Africa. This is like a very common food for parties and uh, and big days. Chapati. We have kachumbari, but we try to make it um, a big style up. We have um, sh yeah, it's called shima, but back home we call it. That's it. We have matapa, commonly called sombe, at home. We have bean stew, we have okra. I think yeah, you also Ghana, love it have, in Ghana. Yeah. We have um, chicken. We have fish, which is very plenty here in Mozambique. But then we cook everything that you see here, we cook it with um, an East African um, way. way. Star, yeah. So, which means it will it has spice but not very spicy like indian food wow. yeah. and how, how has the experience been like um as a living in mozambique how has the experience been like um i would say that it's very challenging okay first of all come like the language barrier as i said and uh, the food that we make here 
is very unusual apart from the people who live in the north of Mozambique try to connect to it but in the south of Mozambique this is very uncommon and that's why we have more of expats clientele than Mozambicans here so the whole experience is that people are getting to know this mm -hmm. through Kwetu, through yeah. our cuisine yeah and apart from cooking mm -hmm. like what else do you have in here or any program any special thing that oh mm -hmm. as a traveler mm -hmm. when i come in here at this specific day i can come and enjoy or anything like that in Kwetu. so we have a monthly event called Kwetu neighborhood market okay where we mm, like it's the whole concept is about uh, food music craft art fashion and just people meeting together bringing up like uh, good vibes and it always happens um, once a month oh, wow. at the first Saturday of the month. So it's a um, it's a very good event that has even changed like the face of um, um, entertainment in Maputo, if I may say so. So it has become a uh, thing that people look forward to. Like people are always uh, waiting for it to, to for, for the it to happen. Uh, as a as a young African, if you should give your fellow brothers and sisters out there. Mm. Uh, I mean, an advice on choosing a career or mm. choosing something for yourself. Mm. I mean, as a big brother, mm. what advice are you going to give it to the young Africans out there? I think that people should get out of their comfort zone, first of all. People shouldn't think that life is about uh, working in an office and uh, looking for those jobs that sometimes are not even available because we are many educated with very, very few jobs. and. Uh, I believe and I think that if everybody gets a chance of getting out of their comfort zone, there is a lot of opportunities out there, out here, like exactly. in the nature. Exactly. To be, you just need to be creative. Everybody needs to be creative. There's plenty of opportunity. And um, we just need to get out and... Uh, you know, like, you, you, you came all the way from Rwanda, now you're based in Mozambique. Yeah. Definitely people who cook in here, are all of them from Rwanda or they're from here? One is Rwandan, but the rest are Mozambicans because we need to give opportunity to everybody else to be able to show what they can do. So we have two cooks, one is Mozambican, another one is... Um, uh, Randy's and I'm also a cook okay. so I sometimes help I so which through. means you're also creating jobs exactly. in here, in here. Yeah. what was your biggest challenge when you are starting this biggest challenge my biggest challenge was for people to understand this food and start eating it <laughs> but then I didn't give up I just kept on forcing it and now we have um, we have this and the people are enjoying it. Wow. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure I try this one yes, before I leave here. Uh, yeah, it is a place. And um, please. I love meat. You yourself. know, people who follow me knows that I love meat. Yeah. So, I mean, I think you start from this side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know my camera guy is really staring at me. Because definitely he knows that when I see meat, we are no longer friends. You know, um, me I don't like using spoons, but there's coronavirus right now, so <laughs> I need to protect myself. Are you just having meat? No, just meat. Just meat and tell them how it tastes like, and then. Hmm. You know that I've been to so many East African countries, and I'll definitely tell you that it really tastes East African. So, whenever you come in here, you can come to Kwetu, it's in Maputo. Where can we find it? Maputo, um, Rua de Martyr de Mashava, numero 133, I'm saying it in Portuguese. But then, um, you, just, you can just. Um, Go through our um, social media, so, so, our social media pages. Our page is called Kwetu Maputo oh. on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Can I put your number so that people can search for you so when they are here? Or the the telephone number. Or, or so so our media. telephone number is plus two five eight eight four forty one fifty five 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 eight.
Thank you so much. Simple as that. Thank I don't know if I can repeat it. No, that's okay. I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> Thank you very much, brother. Thank you so much for talking and, to uh, me. And enjoy your meal. Ah, of course. And um, I'm sorry, Elvis, and I'm sorry for each and everyone who's watching this video. I I'm really happy to be here. I mean, to see a brother doing something like this. This is where you need to spend your money. Your money from your pocket goes to another black brother's pocket. This is all I support. And um, why I keep on dropping my spoons, man? Anyway, you just need to use your hands. Thank you. <laughs> Gary Bundy Quetu. Oh my goodness.